my gosh. How are you feeling? I am. I read a Mark Twain quote today, and it said something like, and I'll bastardize this, <laughs> but it was something like, be open that this day could be one of the most beautiful days of your life. And I think my goal today is to be present in this moment and to take it in because it's like a dream come true in so many ways. And you know, I see, I see Glenn Close, who's my friend, and I, I sort of can't believe this moment's arrived. And you know, we spoke about does it land, these moments where go, people go 25 years and it doesn't land because I'm always working. So today is one of those days where I'm able to take it all in and I feel so grateful. Oh, I'm so glad. 25 years, 20 years of Joyful Heart, 20 yeah. years of marriage, right here, right here. and as you said, 60 and just getting started. Yeah. How does all of that feel when you think of all the milestones happening at once? <laughs> It's a lot, but you know, it's that saying, what if it all works out? And um, I'm just grateful. It's been a lot of hard work and um, hard work pays off. Let's talk a little about Joyful Heart, because I know a lot of the team is here today. I want to ask you how people can help that don't that aren't aware because I feel like that's something you and I had talked about a little bit but that aren't aware, I, they they watch SVU they know this is happening but yeah. how can they get out there and help? Well, one of one of the most important ways um, that people can help is by talking about it and not sweeping it under the carpet, and not sweeping it under the rug, but also um, learning about trauma and how to meet a survivor with empathy and compassion and curiosity and to learn about trauma and learn about the neurobiology of trauma, which a lot of people don't understand about tonic and mobility, about why survivors freeze in a trauma. When a survivor's being perpetrated against, that the you know primitive part of the brain kicks in and we freeze and go into fight or flight and a lot of people don't understand that and so they say oh they didn't respond like a real rape victim why didn't she fight back because she was in fight or flight and she couldn't fight back because her body froze and that is a way that we can learn by understanding trauma and understanding the human condition and again the neurobiology of trauma absolutely all right the last thing i'm going to say and you j believing survivors and recognizing the courage it takes to come forward. Absolutely. The last thing I want to say, obviously you wrapped up, you wrapped up SVU this week. Last I did. How did 25, 25 seasons gone, what can we expect for the, the end of the season? For the end of the season? I mean, yes, because you just wrapped. Well, we've got a very, very special guest star coming back that I am thrilled about. Mm. And, um, I think we end on such a beautiful uh, note. You know, we thought long and hard about how to end the season. And, um, you know, we went to some dark places this season, as we always do, but my character, especially Olivia Benson. And, um, and it was important to me that we land on a healing note. And I think we did, you know, it was about, being brave and tolerating and not being afraid of all the different parts of us. And um, I'm really happy where we ended up.